Viewers, today latest update about war between Ethiopian National Defence Force and the Tigray Defence Force in all surrounding areas. Viewers, Tigray President said that Ethiopia for the suffering of his people. Dr. Bresson Gabriel Michael, the President of the Tigray region. The war mongers decided to continue with the war and we entered into this war. The only option we had is to destroy our enemies by force. Abiy Ahmed Ali has killed more than 20 civilian Oromo youth in Kamsi. Their dead bodies have been taken to the mosque. This man thinks he is going to win by spiting the fighters and killing the innocent. Just a little time left, you will get right. The Ethiopian Air Force is crying out heavy bombings in Kamsi city. They said they have set up a bombardment of Romo Liberation Front and Tigray Defense Force in Kamsi. Tigray Army and Romo Liberation Army have not yet talked about these bombings. The fascist Abi Ahmed Ali airstrike his Kaffa Robit city by the illegal airstrike above 30 innocent civilians were dead and 20 persons were injured, heavily including children below 10 age, elders and women. And viewers, according to the sources, the Alliance Army of Tigray and Oromia Militia, Romo Liberation Army have continued their fight on the long road to Addis Ababa. There is a strong fight going on in Kelo between Kamsi and Chifar Robit. As per information, many people died in this fight. The war is still going on. The army of Ethiopia is fighting with the army that threatened to enter Addis Ababa. On the other side, the international community is saying American delegation is in Addis Ababa and trying to convince both sides to stop bullets and then discuss. The war is ongoing at it may reach a better area today. And viewers, according to the sources, Ethiopia announcement of bullet stopping as the situation is getting out of hand and the war that is going on in Ethiopia is increasing. The spokesman of Tigray, Gatachurida, said, the Tigray army has promised to reduce the losses when they are heading to Addis. Gata Churida said, we don't want to shoot the civilian and we don't want the bloodshed. If possible, we would like the work to be peaceful while the Tigray army is getting closer to Moil. African countries and western countries are calling for an immediate stop of the fire in Ethiopia. After the Tigray army has moved to Addis Ababa this week, Chairman of the African Union Committee Musa Faki Mehmed said that he met with Feldman to discuss the efforts towards negotiation and political resolution between the center government and Tigray and their allies. EU and East African Union IGAD have joined organization calling for stop of bullets. Presidents of Uganda has announced a meeting in IGAD on the 6 on the 16 of last month. Kenya president has also urged the opposition parties to put down their weapons and find a way to peace. The war has to stop. He said to him in a statement he made. The Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, said that he spoke to the Prime Minister of Ethiopia yesterday and suggested that he would help in creating the condition of negotiation. Abu government has declared a state of emergency on Tuesday while Tigray forces threatened to move forward in Addis Ababa. The spokesman of Tigray Defense Force Group, Kata Churida, said today that Tigray Defense Force troops are in Kemsi town in Amhara region, which is 325 km from the capital. The United States Embassy in Addis Ababa has agreed to 
लीव सम ऑफ द स्टाफ एंड फैमिली मेम्बर्स पर्सनली बिकॉज ऑफ द कॉन्फ्लैक्स दैट आर इनक्रीजिंग वाशिंगटन सैड वेंस डे डेट शी इज एक्सट्रामली कंसर्न अबाउट द सिचुएशन एंड कॉल्ड फॉर अ सस्पेंशन ऑफ मिलिट्री ऑपरेशन एंड नेगोशिएशन ऑन गन शूट द एनुअल कॉन्फ्लैक्ट इन इथियोपिया हैज किल्ड थाउजेंड एंड मोर दैन टू मिलियन अदर्स हैव फोर्स दैम टू डिसप्लेस्ड फ्राम देयर होम्स वाइल फोर हंड्रेड थाउजेंड टिग्रा पीपल हैव बिन डिसप्लेस्ड America, European Union and United Nation said that it is necessary to end the government of Tigray to prevent broadcasting. There has been no humanitarian colonizers in Tigray region since 18 October and there has been no human aid fuel since early August according to the United Nation. The roads and shops in Addis Ababa were nearly 5 million people live were busy this morning though some of the residents said that they are feeling unstable in Addis Ababa there are conflicting news about how the refugees are facing Addis Ababa people are arguing about the conflict most of the people are blaming the government for what happened said one of the residents who hide his name just like Reuters brought it up Addis police has arrested many people since the government declared emergency residents told Reuters news agency on Wednesday that many Tigray people had been arrested but Easter in Addis police but Easter the Addis police commander said that the arrest was not based on sex So viewers this is the latest update about it for more latest report please subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching